Robert Copeland grew up in the church where he heard a lot of gospel music. His mother was a singer whom evangelist Shirley Caesar invited to join her group and travel with her. As attractive as the offer might have been, Robert's grandfather wanted no part of his daughter going on the road as a gospel singer. His mother's aspirations to become a nationally known singer came to an abrupt halt, but a seed lay planted in her child. At 12 years old, Robert Robert joined the Boys and Girls Club Choir. It was here that Denzel Washington heard a child's voice that caused him to stop, take note, and proclaim that kid's going places. Denzel's words were prophetic. Robert was called upon many times to sing the Battle Hymn of the Republic. It was during one of these episodes that he sang before Maya Angelou, the world's poet. She was deeply moved and showered him with accolades. At some point, Robert's mother was able to buy an upright stereo. It was through this device that he'd heard the melodious but husky voice of John P. Key. Robert loved the sound. He wanted so much to find Pastor Key's church so he could hear him sing in person. In 2001, he found the ministry and purposed in his heart to go there to worship. He took a little job at a hamburger joint and saved his money. His first check was $115. He used $98 of it to buy a ticket to Charlotte, North Carolina. Some would call it fate, but those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ better describe it as divine providence. Because he came in very close proximity to Reverend Key, someone took him to see the pastor where he nervously said, I want to sing for you. John P. Key surprised him with, go ahead. Robert then sang for the gospel giant. When he finished, this huge celebrity gave him a CD and a hundred dollar bill. He returned home a very happy and excited young man. In just a few days, John P. Key began to ask about him. He told his workers to find him and bring him back to Charlotte. It was then that Robert's mother moved the entire family to Charlotte. She wanted her son to realize the dream that had passed her by. Robert traveled with John P. Key for several years doing solos on most of his albums, including the 2008 best-selling album, Live in Miami. We've all heard his voice hundreds of times between 2005 and 2012. After several years of huge success on tours and in recording studios, Robert left the John P. Key camp and stepped out on faith as a solo artist. This is where we find him today. God has blessed, sustained, and protected his gift. He has been merciful and gracious in blessing him with a family of his own. The rest is history still in the making. The best is yet to come for Robert Copeland. Let's welcome him to the ark.